so this is the outside of your fabric. This is just a piece of scrap. But basically this will be the top of your waistband. So this is your elastic. can be used for leg as well. So what I do is I close the elastic up and sew it closed. So it makes the loop. Just do a couple of back and forth because this is just a scrap. It doesn't matter. So you make your elastic the circle as if that's what's going in the casing. Then you get your fabric. Turn your fabric the like inside out. So this is the top here of what your casing would be. Put the elastic over the casing and then put it over the arm of your sewing machine. Now all you're going to do is close the casing over the elastic. So this saves you having to iron the hem over and then sew the casing and then thread the elastic then sew the elastic then close the casing. This is a much easier and it's actually a much neater way as well because then you can make the casing the exact size that you need for your elastic. Saves so much time. So then you just sew around and as you do make sure I use this finger to push the elastic up a bit and that finger just to make sure that the casing is nice and smooth and then you can use this finger here just to run along the edge of the elastic to make sure you're not actually sewing on the elastic. And just go around, adjust it again. Make sure your elastic is pushed all the way up to this end here just so it's out of the way and then you get a nice tight like encasing. Now this is just a scrap so I'm not really doing it neatly. Just use my finger to make sure that I'm not sewing over the elastic. And then when you get to this part you need to pull your elastic out a little bit so it's not all bunched up. back to the start, do your lock stitch, cut it, turn it inside out and there you have the perfect size elastic casing and it took a whole of what like two minutes and it's done.